try to destroy the family, the foundation of society, during the first years of the Soviet regime. In real life, the upshot of revolutionary slogans such as freedom to winged heiress and we shall free women from family servitude, and of the down with shame society and family communes, led to a situation where there were 500,000 neglected children in Russia by 1927. According to communist, and in general totalitarian, ideology, the interests and awareness of society prevail over those of the individual. The family was now a cell of the government, which controlled people's lives. And the government took upon itself the upbringing of children within the framework of communist ideology. I was summoned to the party committee and they offered to make me the director of a pioneers camp. They did as they were told and the young ones in particular loved me and the swimming pool was a meter and a half deep. I led all the youngest ones there and swam with them. I had four people on my hands at once, like this. And they were all swimming in the water in my arms. As it turns out, a baby growing up without its mother grows up with reduced parental instincts. Tearing children away from their parents over the course of several generations leaves young people psychologically unfit for family life and parenthood. A baby is looked upon as a destroyer of comfort and a hindrance. In post-Soviet Russia, there are a multitude of neglected children, a consequence of parental irresponsibility. My mother poisoned me and gave me to a children's home. But my father was really sad for nine months, and he took me away. He was with me. But the best guarantee, I believe, is a healthy and strong family. If the government here thinks about young families, I think everything will be okay.